everybody. How is everybody doing today? Fine, I hope. I want to introduce myself. My name is Michelle Cooley, and I am a student at Concordia University, Nebraska, and I am currently enrolled in an MBA course titled Market Research, which is headed by Dr. Connie Warner. I am here to present to the leadership team a market research report that was done on Michael Kors, specifically Michael Kors handbags. Michael Kors. Michael Kors is known as premium, quality, luxury, especially when it comes to handbags. Recent years, Michael Kors has been experiencing a decrease in, de in sales, especially in the last three years. So we are aware in the fashion industry that consumer purchasing habits do change, as well as fashion trends. But then we started looking into it a little bit deeper and wondered if that the declining sales was based on consumer perception of the quality of the Michael Kors handbags. Now, where does this consumer perception may come from? Well, Michael Kors implemented a business strategy to make their handbags more affordable to consumers. In doing that, they had their handbags available at retail discount stores such as TJ Maxx or Nordstrom's Rack, as well as having their handbags available at Michael Kors outlets. But the one thing about the handbag availability at the outlets, the handbags are always on sale, so you can get discounts and coupons to purchase those handbags. So by doing that, even though they wanted to make the handbags more affordable to consumers, that might have backfired on Michael Kors because their sales have been declining in the last three years. So what we did was we collected primary as well as secondary data. Primary data was collected. We did a questionnaire with 20 respondents, predominantly females who are the target market for Michael Kors handbags. We did in-person interviews as well as telephone interviews. And even though 80% of the respondents do own Michael Kors handbags, the consensus was that everybody saw that the quality of, or they perceived that the quality of the handbags had a diminished quality about them because they were available in discount stores as well as outlets. And the secondary data we reviewed was also the sales of the Michael Kors handbags in the recent quarters. As you can see, in the fourth quarter of 2015, the sales were decreasing, and this went on into the third quarter of 2016, where the sales did increase, but it was only by 2%. And then the sales did not increase higher in the fourth quarter of 2016. It only went up by 1.5%. But as you can see here, in year 2017, the sales have significantly declined. It started at negative 7.0. 7.6% in first quarter 2016, and currently in the third quarter of 2017, it is minus 6.4%. So what we have realized is that based on, based on the availability of the handbag at retail discount stores and the coupons and the discounts available at Michael Kors outlets, consumers across the board have seen or have seen a perception that the quality of the handbags has gone down. We also did a, an analysis on social media sites such as Twitter and Instagram, and we've read posts, at least about 40, and comments were made that consumers did not believe that the bags were authentic that were offered at retail discount stores. So here are our conclusions and recommendations. We are recommending that Michael Kors remove all their handbags from retail discount stores. We want the handbags, we want the, the quality perception of the handbags to go back to where it started as premium quality to be in the same category as Kate Spade or Coach handbags. And we also are recommending that they remove the discounts and the sales of handbags from Michael Kors outlets. Michael Kors handbags as I stated in the beginning, it stands for premium quality. Once that brand equity and that brand value has diminished, we have to take action to bring that brand equity and brand value back and increase it into the eyes of consumers. As well as have the handbags available in only high-end department stores, high-end department stores such as Lord & Taylor. So 
we also decided that, and we're also recommending that we create a social media advertising campaign and use celebrities who are known for purchasing Michael Kors handbags, such as model Gigi Hadid, singer Taylor Swift. So we want um, Michael Kors to hire an advertising agency with a caliber such as J. Walter Thompson, that's based in New York, to communicate with them to create a social media campaign to increase the brand equity and the perception of Michael Kors. That way then we can have the sales increase. And any questions? And thank you for your time. Thank you.